Meanwhile, major news today about the world's largest drug maker, Pfizer. The company agreed to pay $2.3 billion. That is the largest fine in history and agreed to plead guilty to charges it illegally marketed some of its products, one in particular, for unapproved uses. Here's Lisa Stark. Bextra was approved by the FDA to treat pain from arthritis, but the drug giant Pfizer had other ideas, pumping up its bottom line by pitching doctors to prescribe the drug for things it was never approved for, called off-label marketing. When off-label marketing like this occurs, patients' health and lives are put at risk, and those who cause that risk must be held accountable. Bextra became a blockbuster, bringing in $1.2 billion a year, as sales reps assured doctors it could be used not just for arthritis, but for any acute pain. The main whistleblower, a former company sales rep, said in a statement, at Pfizer, I was expected to increase profits at all costs, even when sales meant endangering lives. I couldn't do that. In exchange for hearing company sales pitches, doctors were paid up to $1,500 to attend meetings and were treated to conferences at lush resorts, given airfare, hotels, meals, even massages. Their job was to help Pfizer figure out how best to promote Bextra for the off-label indications. And it turned out, even when used correctly, Bextra was dangerous, linked to possible heart attacks and strokes, and pulled off the market. Although it's a record punishment, Pfizer has plenty of company. In the last eight years, drug manufacturers have paid over $11 billion in penalties for everything from off-label promotions to overcharging Medicare for drugs. There's so much money to be made in selling pills to the American public and advertising and selling the latest, newest product that people get crazy and they cut corners and they cheat and they get caught sometimes. And Pfizer will now be required to reveal every penny it spends pitching doctors. Some believe that should be required of all drug companies. Charlie? Lisa Stark reporting from Washington.